In a world where obesity and diabetes are on the rise, researchers are constantly seeking answers to improve our dietetic responses. One particular study aimed to shed light on the acute effects of whey and soy protein on glucose homeostasis, energy metabolism, and satiety. Let's dive into their findings. 15 adult males aged 20 to 35 years took part in this fascinating experiment. Each participant was given four different test meals, comprising two protein sources, soy and whey, and two protein doses, 15% and 30% protein to energy ratio. Blood samples were collected at regular intervals after the meals to analyze glucose and insulin responses. Additionally, energy expenditure and substrate oxidation were measured, and satiety levels were assessed using a visual analog scale. The results were truly enlightening. At higher protein doses, whey protein exhibited a significantly greater insulin response compared to soy protein. This suggests that whey protein has a dose-dependent effect on insulin levels. However, at lower protein doses, there were no significant differences in the insulin responses between the two protein sources. Surprisingly, there were no notable differences in the plasma glucose response across the various protein sources and doses. This indicates that both whey and soy protein have a similar impact on blood sugar levels. What about energy metabolism? Well, the study found that neither the peak fat nor carbohydrate oxidation differed between the protein sources and doses. In other words, both whey and soy protein had similar effects on our body's energy utilization. Lastly, the researchers evaluated satiety, or the feeling of fullness, among the participants. Interestingly, there were no significant differences in satiety levels between the whey and soy protein meals. This suggests that both protein sources contribute to a similar level of satisfaction after consumption. In conclusion, this study provides valuable insights into the effects of whey and soy protein on glucose metabolism. At lower doses, both proteins showed comparable insulin responses, making them equally effective in managing blood sugar levels when consumed in moderation. However, at higher doses, whey protein demonstrated a greater insulinogenic response. These findings are particularly relevant for Asian Indians, who are at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes and may be pursuing to increase protein intake. As research continues to unfold, we gain a better understanding of how our dietary choices impact our health. By exploring the acute effects of protein sources like whey and soy, we move closer to personalized dietary recommendations that can improve the lives of millions.